Talking now on the show about helping women turn their talents into a business that lets them work from home. Joining us on the show to share how it's all done is co-founders of West 10th, Lynn and Sarah. And way over there is Liz, and we're going to get to you in just a second, Liz. Thank you for joining us, ladies. What is West 10th? How does it work? Nisha, thank you so much for having us on. West 10th is a website and an app where you can find local micro-businesses being run from people's homes and really the types of businesses that are powering the home and personal life. So it's a place to find local artisans, of course, but also newborn sleep consultants and home organizers and balloon art artists and all these things that women are creating businesses out of that really help home and family life. Sarah, I think this is such a great idea. How did you two get it started? Well, we realized that we were searching for these businesses on our own, and we were having to go through some really inefficient channels. You could only find these businesses on social media groups. Um, you kind of put an ISO request out. I need someone who can make this cake. Who do you know? And then you'd have to filter through lots of responses. So we thought, why don't we aggregate, bring them together, make them easy to find, and really support local and support women. Let's talk about the numbers, ladies. How many home-based businesses are there nationwide? There are 15 million nationwide. Two thirds of those are run by women. Really? So nine million, and given all the uh, facts, we've kind of extrapolated that there's probably about 70,000 in Utah alone. So 66% of home-based businesses, everybody owned by women, Utah's second location you've launched. There's a reason for that, why? Well, we met at BYU. Um, I am from Utah, and we knew just instinctively all the entrepreneurial activity that's happening with women in Utah inside their homes. And we wanted to support that more than anything. And we needed these ladies' businesses in our lives, too. Okay, you two, how do you support that? Well, we support it by making it easy to find, and we purchase and use these services on our own. And we tell other people about it. So you don't always have to buy from someone to support their business. You can support them by sharing them on social media, um, being there, liking comments, but also telling other people who need these services about them and just spreading the word of mouth, like, hey, this is easy to use. When you support women, you're supporting your local community because they're taking those funds and they're reinvesting them right back into their local. All right, Liz, let's bring you into this conversation. How did you get involved with these ladies? Um, well, when I <clears throat> started my business, I was looking for all the different avenues where I could get the word out about what I was doing. And a friend said, hey, I have a friend who has started this thing called West 10th. Why don't you check it out? And so I looked, downloaded the app, took a look at it, and I was like, I like what these people are doing. This is really cool. It's like a virtual Main Street with all these little shops where I can go look and see what there is. So I signed up. And my first West 10th uh, client was actually one of the West 10th uh, management structure. She hired me to do some organizing for her. Um, and then it just kind of went from there. I've gotten other clients that way, and I, it's a great way for me to refer people. You know, hey, go look on this app. You'll find me, but you'll also find. Okay, Liz, wait, go back just a second. Yes. You, you're called Let Liz Handle It. What yes. do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, what I do is I am essentially an executive virtual assistant. So, everyone loves the phrase, let me handle that. So, I want to do that for other business owners. So those are my main clients, is other women who have a small business, usually a micro business, um, and they don't need a full-time employee, but they need somebody. So they pay for 10 hours, 20 hours of my time each month, and I organize their emails. I put all their stuff in a database and organize it that way. Sometimes I even go to their home or office and I organize in person. Um, I also do things like, oh, I need to find a property management company for my rental properties. I sift through all the options, and I give them, here's the two or three that I liked best. And was it tough to get the word out that that's what you do? I wouldn't say it was tough, but it was interesting to figure out the correct avenues, like the best ways to get the word out. Because I told family, but I mean, family only That only goes, goes so, so far. far, right? They don't yeah. need you to handle everything. But I knew that by using West 10th, I was getting into um, a client base that was not one that I would have had access to all on my own. This is boosting those micro businesses, and I'm sure there's so many viewers out there that say, I know someone that has one of those, or maybe you do yourself. What do you need to do to get started? All you have to do is download the app, 
if you're a, if you're a business owner, go to the App Store, Google Play Store, download, and then spend just 20, 30 minutes uploading photos, descriptions of your business, uh, pricing information, and it's really as easy as that. I and love that you said you don't list. just have to purchase to support yeah. local business. Yeah. Just get the word yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, look at your screen, everyone. 10% discount code <laughs> up to $50. GTU save 10. West10th.com for more information. They're on social media, of course, and now on our website, abc4.com slash GTU. Liz, thank you so much for being on the show. We need to feature more of these micro businesses. Ladies, thank you for doing what you're doing. Thank you, Nisha. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So